Hey everyone, it's Allison with Bloom Culture Flowers and in this tutorial we're going to teach you how to make a DIY ceremony arbor with one single central arrangement. So first you'll want to start with long pieces of greenery. Here we've used Italian Rescus. It's great for length and fabulous for outdoor arbors because it's really, really hardy. I always do a test run of my longer pieces of greenery by placing them in the area I want them to go before I cut them. Measure twice and cut once, right? I do this so that if a specific piece of greenery is too long, I can cut it, or if it's too short, I can use a different piece. Next I start to fill in the center of the wet foam cage with shorter pieces of Italian Ruscus. I do this so that I don't wind up using more flowers to cover it up. It also helps direct the placement of flowers as we get further into the design. Remember to use different lengths and sizes here to help create depth. You don't want to use the same size of greenery as it could end up looking too uniform and rigid. Next I move to a different greenery called Salau. This greenery has a different shade of green and a different leaf structure. The Ruscus provides length and the Salau provides surface area, meaning its broad leaves cover more area than the thinner leaves of the Ruscus. I place the Salal in a similar fashion as I did the shorter stems of Ruscus, placing them in and around the cage at varying lengths and sizes to build the foundation of the arrangement. There isn't an exact math to this. Just keep filling in until you think the salal is evenly dispersed throughout the foundation. Once you're happy, move on to flowers. Now it's time to place our flowers. I'm using two different rose varieties in this tutorial, and first up is the ivory rose. I start on the left side of the arrangement, and I usually work in threes, meaning I place three flowers at a time in a loose grouping. I can't stress enough in this design, do a test run before you cut your stems. You'll want to have some stems longer and some stems shorter. I never place a rose next to another rose with the same length. I want them to sit at different heights which gives the arrangement more depth. When the flowers are all on the same plane, it can start to look very static and solid. So this tutorial is how to achieve a more organic and looser look on the arbor. Next, I do the very same thing on the right side of the floral cage, working in threes and placing the roses in different spots at various stem lengths. After placing the ivory roses, I move on to some peach spray roses. Spray roses have multiple blooms or sprays to one stem and have smaller blooms than your standard roses. These are great for a few reasons. A. They cover a good amount of surface area. B. They have a different scale or size, which helps create depth and interest. And C. They come in tons of colors and can be pretty hardy in an arbor. Now I begin placing the more delicate flowers. Here I've used butterfly ranunculus. A few things to note about more delicate flowers. The butterfly ranunculus, as well as a standard variety of ranunculus, have a hollow stem and you'll need to be more gentle when placing it in the floral foam. I wait a bit to use more delicate flowers as I don't want them to get damaged in the foundation building process and because they are usually accent flowers and their placement needs to be more thought out. For instance, these butterfly ranunculus drape pretty heavily, meaning they fall to one side or the other. This is key in placement in the arbor because if you go against the natural drape of a flower, it won't look right in the arrangement. But if you place it right, it will look fabulous. Once I have the ranunculus placed, I start with these gorgeous toffee roses. I waited to place these roses until now because of the color variation. I could have placed them at the same time as the ivory roses, but I wanted to wait so that the color palette would be more balanced and dispersed. Notice with these, I tuck a few deeper into the arrangement. This creates depth and also creates some low lights for the arrangement. 
You'll notice I spin these roses before I place them. Certain varieties of roses loosen up a bit more with the spin technique and look more open. You can either spin your roses before you even start the arbor, or as I've done in this case, as you go. Now it's time for filter flowers. I've used the gorgeous blue Tweedia for this tutorial. I absolutely love pops of periwinkle in unexpected places. Tweedia can pull double duty as an accent flower or a filler flower due to the scale of its blooms. Most filler flowers have small bundles of blooms to help you fill in spots, hence the nickname filler flowers. At this point in the process, we are almost done. I have a few leftover blooms from my recipe and decided to use these spray roses to fill in a few spots. Remember to occasionally take a step back from the arbor as you'll be able to see spots that need flowers from further away, or you'll be able to decide, yep, this looks good, I'm done. That wraps up our tutorial for the single arrangement for your ceremony arbor. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or you can always email us at hello at bloomcultureflowers.com. I'm Allison with Bloom Culture Flowers, and as always, thank you so much for watching.